of my favorite places today, the Grimsel Pass, as I was in the last video. I think each season I seem to kind of change between my favorite passes. Last year, I was always going on about the Sister Pass and this year seems to be the Grimsel Pass. I don't know, just really kind of feeling the Grimsel Pass this year. And as you can see in the background, I have a very, very cool car with me today in a super cool color. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around of the car. Today, yeah, I actually have, again, no plan. I think I'm gonna film more frequently with no plan whatsoever. Today, I'm on a photo mission, as I am a lot of the time. So I decided to come back to the Grimsel Pass, do a bit of a photo mission with the new M5 CS because, well, it just looks so cool. I thought it deserved to have some pictures on a proper mountain pass. How mean does this thing look? This is an absolute unit, huge bonnet bulge on the car, vents. It's an absolute monster. I picked it up yesterday and my God, does this thing move. 635 horsepower from a twin turbocharged V8. It absolutely flies. And in the super cool, frozen green color quite excited to take pictures of a green car i don't think i've had a green car mm, no i have had one before a long time ago i think an rs4 but yeah green is just such a popular color at the moment on cars all these nice gold bits around the car as well on the wheels carbon ceramic brakes actually come as standard on the cs it's a pretty big car but when you're driving it actually doesn't feel so big and for me personally an extremely good looking car carbon fiber bits everywhere got the rear diffuser down here in carbon fiber small little lip on the boot in carbon fiber carbon fiber the whole hood is actually also in carbon fiber i think it's actually around 70 kilograms lighter than the previous M5, which is quite a lot. And I wanna show you guys these seats because they are amazing. So lots of pictures of these seats going around on the internet. And I can tell you firsthand, they are seriously, seriously comfortable to sit in. When, when you're sitting in, you just feel completely locked into the car. Getting in and out is a bit like kind of a Porsche GT3, you have these high sides, on the bucket seat so and you can see here at the height so getting in and out you kind of had to yeah slide yourself over this but as i said once you're in seriously cool still not worked out what this is for i don't know if it's actually for anything or just to look cool but it does kind of look cool so the price on this is actually i think in switzerland around 190k that's 190,000 swiss francs big money but it is a big car lacking sound though was driving it the last day and just no sound sound is really an issue at the moment from cars although Porsche have proved with the GT3 if you really really want to make a sound even with the new particle filters it is possible and this is silent. If you can hear any sound from driving the car, I actually think it's just fake sound being pumped into the or through the speakers, which I absolutely hate. Never be afraid. To get creative with your photos if i can't think of much else to do like now i'm just going to lie on the floor take a picture uh, with my feet in the shot kind of just because no reason really i just think it gives a whole new perspective when you have something else in the shot like my shoes Onwards, up the Grimsel Pass. Time to enjoy the car a little bit on a couple of corners before taking more pictures. I'm so into taking pictures right now. Subaru with a massive wing. Look 
Look at the size of that. First impressions of the car is, yes, it is super impressive. I really like how it looks. As I said, lacking in sound, but you know, not much we can do about that these days. I guess what's impressive about this is the size of it, but it feels also super track focused. Holy moly, it is insane. Let's see if I can make a little bit of sound with the wall next to me, try and get some idea of how it sounds on the outside. going on there but apparently it's the most powerful BMW M car for the road at the moment you just don't want any more power and there's a Ducati Panigale I'll let him turn around because it's a thing of beauty give him the thumbs up on that super nice bike back at my usual location this is actually where I shot the new GT3. Just looks so good with all these beautiful cliffs next to it. The M5 is looking extremely cool on this road. Love it. Off to and should get there pretty quick in this car. I do get this car, I mean it's it's a bit like the RS6, it's that one car for everything. I was of course comparing this a bit to the RS6 and I think there's not one better than the other, they both offer their own thing. This however wins on the fact it just feels way more sporty. It feels much more of a sports car than the RS6. You can have a lot of fun like I am now on a twisty road or on the track. But it is a very, very special car. <laughs> it's crazy. ever get bored of it. I've just realized as well, so when you have the lights fully on, they are yellow, which is super cool. Really, really liking that. Oh, look at that, cheeky Subaru. STI, yes, STI. That's the sound of a Lamborghini. Hurricane. We'll never ever get bored of, of the sound of a V10 either. So just got over the top of the Grimsel Pass and you come down here, you can stop on the side. And from here, you just have such a spectacular view. Backside of the Grimsel Pass going all the way down. And on the video with the GT3, this is exactly what we did, went all the way down. And you follow this road up, going straight up to the top of the Felka Pass.
Deswegen der Hotel. Something else I forgot to mention in today's video, and that is thank you to everyone that's ordered my Chow for Now keychain. They've sold out. I'm going to restock during September, but really thank you so much. It really just made me so happy posting all of these around the world Thailand, Australia, USA, and everywhere around Europe. I can't believe that the locations that these went to, which also says to me the viewers that I have from around the world. And that's just unbelievably cool. But anyway, tiredness is seriously kicking in now. I've still got an hour and a half drive home. This is dangerously comfortable. I'm just gonna sit here for a bit, possibly take a cheeky little nap. So for me, it is a very tired, but happy ciao for now.